I just upgraded my MacBook Pro to Yosemite and Windows 10. So how bad is it using an unsupported Mac? Let's find out. Okay, so I want to go ahead and say that in all fairness, I wasn't going to film this video at all. Um, but with my last video, PowerBook versus MacBook Pro, somebody pointed out, "Hey, Mountain Lion will eventually be unsupported, so the MacBook Pro will or the PowerBook will win in the end." And I thought to myself, "Yeah, but I can run Yosemite." And you know, I even typed that out, and they're like, "Oh, we've seen the Yosemite videos, man. You know." It, it was bad, and it really was. If you saw my videos with Yosemite on an unsupported MacBook, it was bad. But the MacBook Pro is a little bit different. So what I plan on doing today is showing you... I'm going to focus more on the Mac OS X side. Um, I may have a couple of things to show you on the Windows side, but we've all seen Windows run time and time again. It runs. I'll, I'll just go ahead and throw that out. I have sound, I have internet, I have graphics. It runs. Um, but I wanted to focus more on the OS X side and show you that, yeah, I'm not really missing much. It can be done. So, let's get started. Okay, so for starters, as you can see, we are in Yosemite. I have the Sierra background because I, I kind of like it. I'll hit about this Mac real quick just to show you that we are in Yosemite, 10.10.5. Still rocking the MacBook Pro 17 inch. Still got the Radon X1600. And this is what it looks like. Now, let me go into some things that I can do and some things that I can't do. Uh, some things that I can do is I can have a transparent dock, despite what some people wanted to believe. Let me go into applications and I will show you C dock. You've seen it before, but I'll just show you again. Now it's going to kill my dock for a second. Well, it's supposed to. But as you can see, I've got uh, the old Tiger dock themed, and all I did was I curved the edges so it looked more like the Yosemite dock, and that was pretty much all I had to do. I mean, it looks really nice, it's really sharp, and I can't complain. So furthermore... Oh, whoops. So furthermore, internet browsing works perfectly. It's it's flawless. Um, YouTube videos play in 1080p. The sound is incredible. I'll go ahead and play one of my videos again, just to prove a point. That's the newest one. Got the volume turned down. This pen is something I've been wishing for for a long time. I'm able to go in. So, I mean, as you can see, it's it's loud. Which is better? A 2006 MacBook Pro? And it works. Um, most of the apps work. You know, I've even got Pages, Keynote, I've got Adobe Premiere, I've got iBooks, and, you know, I haven't had any problems yet. I'll, I'll launch Word just to prove a point. Word is still slow. Um, I think it may be just the app. I think it's just Microsoft. It's It's got to be Microsoft's fault. If you watched my last video, you'll know like I had complaints over how slow Microsoft Word launched. And I still have complaints. See, look. Yes, allow. Yes, allow, yes, allow, allow, God, allow. Seriously? Always allow. Go away. Gosh. What's wrong with this thing? But anyway, it's never done that before. Well, did it do anything? Oh, there it goes. But yeah, as you can see, like I can open a blank document here. And, God, I'm 
already in like almost four minutes, but I just wanted to prove a point. Really should have, there it goes. Really should have went with pages. In fact, I'll, I'll show you pages too, just again, prove a point. Pages. I don't know what the problem is, but every time I go to film, it's like the computer just gets slow. <laughs> I'll just hit new document. Blank. And look at that. That was a lot faster. Should have went with that instead. But anyway, there's some things that it can do. Let me show you what it can't do. Okay, so let's talk about some things that it can't do. Um, for starters, the launch pad. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. There it goes. It's, it's laggy beyond all get out. I mean, you can use it. But, like, I'll show you what happens when you try to get to disk utility. And this is with all of the animation to cut off. You know, everything's been removed and it is still loading. <laughs> um, which is quite ridiculous. Now I can't even get it to respond. Not even kidding. So I just. I avoid Launchpad like the plague, which is pretty okay because I've been using Leopard for so long that I forgot what Launchpad really was. Um, it's unnecessary, it really is. I'm gonna have to reboot this thing. Another thing that doesn't work well, um, if at all, is Final Cut Pro. So I swapped Pro with Adobe Premiere. Now I don't like using Adobe products, but in a pinch, if I had to use this MacBook Pro, to edit video, which right now I don't because I've been editing on my iPad. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's really not. You know, you gotta get you gotta get used to not having some things. You gotta get used to having other things. But this is Premiere Pro CS6, and you know it's completely and totally usable. I'm gonna let it load to prove. You know, it doesn't need OpenGL or anything like that. The only downside to using it is it doesn't use OpenGL to render videos. So it takes like an hour or two for, you know, 10 minutes worth of high def footage. But, you know, if you can stand to do this, you can stand to wait, trust me. But, you know, as I was saying, you gotta. This is not a video to sway you from doing this or to tell you to do this. This is a video just showing you what works and what doesn't. But see, Adobe Premiere boots right up. Um, another thing that doesn't work well that I'm trying to figure out like how to make work is Kodi Media Center. Um, it's the only thing I could get to actually play videos on here. But as you can see, it's incredibly, incredibly laggy. And I don't know if it's just because I'm running a beta on here. Like, I may try going back to Jarvis. But, but this was just bad. Um, VLC half works. It'll play music. Won't play, won't play videos. But other than that, I mean... Literally everything else works. Um, oh, except for 3D chess. If you like playing chess, I'm sorry you're out. Okay, so let's recap. Things that work. YouTube playback. Um, most Apple apps. Most Windows apps. Basically everything under the sun. Netflix, Hulu. Anything you really want to do, it works. What doesn't work? DVD playback, media playback. I've tested it using Windows 10 and it plays DVDs. 
and it plays media, so that's not really a big concern of mine. Now, where do I go from here? <clears throat> because you know what will probably happen. Um, it looks like Mavericks, Yosemite, and El Capitan are going to become the new Snow Leopard Lion and Mountain Lion in the sense that they'll get long-term support, everyone will keep using them, and everybody will say, oh, these are great machines, and then Firefox, Chrome will drop support about three or four years from now. What am I going to do? I'm going to buy a 2008 MacBook Pro logic board, and I'm going to do the same thing I did to my 2008 MacBook. I am going to upgrade this thing so that it can run Sierra, and I'm going to take you guys along for the journey. I'm not doing it today. Uh, probably probably beginning of November. So there may be videos between now and then, there might not be, uh, but right now I've got it running Yosemite. By the end of November I plan on have or beginning of November, sorry, I plan on having it running Sierra. I hope this video helped. If you know if you wanted to perhaps do this to your machine, I've had like I said I've had no problems other than lack of DVD playback and lack of media playback. But again, all of my media has been on my PowerBook anyway, so that's not really that big of a deal, at least for me. So my recommendations, if you're going to do this, get C-Doc, get rid of Launchpad, don't use it to play videos on, or video games for that matter. So anyway, this is Adam. Take it easy.